What's up, bro? Alright. I'm not gonna lie. Nice little flank. Bro, these guys were just all... Get off me. Oh my god, teammate. You scared the heck out of me. Nice. Oh, man. The flanks are real. Holy cow! Six? What's up, bro? Oh my god! Yo, what is going on, guys? So in today's video, we are going to be going over my updated settings in Modern Warfare Season 5. This is a video that has been requested by so many of you so many times, so here we are. If any of you guys are brand new, make sure you guys subscribe. I do upload every single day. We're on the road to 300,000 subscribers. There's a lot of you guys out there who watch the videos who have not yet subscribed, so join us here today. Drop a big fat like on today's video as well. If these settings do help you guys out, make sure to share the video around to your friends or whoever may need help with their settings. So without further ado, man, let's just get running into it. So starting off, my controller settings. My button and stick layout are both the default. Reason being is because I have a scuffed controller, so this paddle will jump and this paddle will slide. And when my thumbs are on the analog sticks, I don't need to take them off to press those buttons. So that's the reason I play default. My invert vertical look is disabled. My dead zone is a 0.07. This is just what I found works best for me. May or may not work for you, but you could definitely try it out. My sensitivity is a 7.7. Now, I highly recommend trying to mess with your own and just find your own sensitivity. Just because this works for me doesn't mean it will work for you. It may be too slow for some of you or it may be too quick for some of you. So definitely experiment, but this is a pretty good uh, starting point for finding the right sensitivity. Sensitivity for low zoom and high zoom are one. Um, I don't really mess with it. I'm okay with how uh, you know this is. My aim response curve type I have as dynamic. Reverse S curve mapping for fine aim rate control. I disabled my controller vibration. I'm going to be honest, bro. I cannot play with my controller just vibrating in my hands while I'm trying to aim. I can't do it. If you play with vibration, props to you. I don't know how you do it, but if you take it off, it might improve your accuracy because your hands aren't always shaking when you're trying to aim. It's awful. My aim assist is standard. I used to plan focusing, but I was not too big of a fan with it. So um, I decided to go back to standard. Just so much better. I like it a lot. My weapon mount activation, ADS and melee. Um, I mean, you guys will always see me like accidentally leaning or it's awful. I need to change it, but I'm just so used to it where I just don't even mess with it. Weapon mount movement exit, aim down sight behavior hold, equipment behavior hold, use and reload behavior is tap to reload. Now, when I'm playing Warzone, I like to play with contextual tap because you just need a tap to pick things up. The only bad thing is if you're in a vehicle trying to reload, you're just going to exit the vehicle. So be careful with it, but I highly recommend using contextual tap for Warzone. But for multiplayer, which I play a lot of, I do tap to reload. Uh, depleted ammo weapon switch enabled. My slide behavior is tap. So instead of holding my slide button down, all I have to do is just tap it to slide, which is so, so nice. You're able to slide a lot more efficiently. I find a lot of success with it. It's one of the reasons why my movement is the way it is. Um, it's definitely helped improve a lot. So I highly recommend using tap to slide. It's really, really good. Auto move forward. I have that disabled. I don't really play Warzone like that. If I did, I might actually have this on. My auto sprint. This is one of the biggest changes I've made in my settings since my last video. Automatic tactical sprint. So you guys know how you have to double tap your analog stick in order to run, have your gun up in the air. Well, with this, all you need to do is just have your, this, that's all you got to do. And you're fully running at full speed with your gun in the air. Why didn't nobody tell me about this before? I didn't even know about it. So I threw this on an absolute lifesaver, man. My movement has increased so much with tap to slide and automatic tactical sprint. I am telling you guys, use those two things, two of the biggest settings that you guys need to change. It's awesome. Your movement will increase by a lot. You'll definitely just be able to move around a lot more efficiently. Vehicle camo recenter enabled. Parachute auto deploy enabled. But you don't want to smack your face on the ground, man. That's that's the worst. Moving on to my general settings. My brightness, I just have 60.0. Um, this doesn't you can know it depends on your TV, your monitor, and all that type of good stuff. I just found that the 60 was perfect. Uh, film grain 0.25. I think this is the default. I don't mess with it. Tool tips enabled, uh, subtitles disabled. I know some people like to play with these on. Um, I personally don't. I have a. I think I have a decent headset where I can just hear everything pretty good. English. Uh, my colorblind type, guys. 
Another setting I get asked about all the time. Frizz, how in the world are the enemies yellow? The enemy tags yellow. Sorry, my god, tongue twister. I use this one. I never actually tell you guys what it is because I don't know how to say it. Uh, Deutronopia. Deutronopia. That's what I use. So if you guys want your enemy tags yellow, use Deutronopia. That's what I use all the time. My colorblind target is interface. Is this the... Maybe this one applies an additional colorblind filter over the interface. Mm, I just always been using this. I, I found it to work a lot. World motion blur, weapon motion blur. Guys, oh my God. Please turn this off if you have not turned this off. I get incredibly dizzy watching people play with motion blur. And honestly, you'll probably become a lot more accurate and just aware of what's going on on the map if you just disable these motion blurs. Please, for the love of God, do so. It is so, so bad to have on. My eyes hurt so much when I see people play with this on. It's it's not good at all. Um, my HUD, my minimap shape is square. The square minimap is actually much bigger. You're able to see a lot more. So I highly recommend using the square minimap over the circle. I mean, you guys can see these two images. You can almost see the entire map with the square. And then the circle, you know, just some edges cut off. But still, man, use the square minimap. It's really good. Uh, my minimap rotation is enabled. Compass, cardinal direction tax. Is this new? This might be a, ah yeah this is new i don't think i've seen this before i'm, I'm not gonna mess with it i never really use my compass but hey if you do props to you because i just i always forget it's even there text chat disabled hey people be saying some really disrespectful stuff sometimes so i gotta disable this you know i don't want none of that in, in the vids for my audio settings um i don't think i mess with this too much all i did was turn down my master volume because the games the game music is just very very loud so um I, everything's kind of turns down a little bit the explosions all of that so it, it's kind of crazy so i have to turn that down a little bit the home theater i i'm pretty sure it's the standard one juggernaut music enabled hit marker effect i have the mw one on now i know there's a few different ones there's a classic and mw i always flip flop they do sound different it's just very very nice to you know hear different hit markers whenever you're playing so i used to have classic on but i put modern warfare so uh yeah i don't know i just messed with it once in a while uh, voice chat enabled open mic whatever all this this is just for mic settings and then my account i have people always ask me if i have cross plan yes i have cross plan i don't turn it off when you turn off crossplay, it takes forever to find a game. It's awful, man. So I just keep mine on. I don't mess with it. Crossplay communication. I accidentally had this disabled, so I wasn't even able to talk to PC people. It was awful. So um, yeah, make sure you have that on. And I think that's all my settings, right? Jeez. Now, before I end the video, I do want to showcase my set or not my settings. Sorry, my combat record. People are always asking about my stats. First, you have a low KD. You're terrible. Guys, let me show you the KD. All right, bro. Let me show you guys boom there's your boy's stats people are always asking about them now if you guys go back to my settings my last settings video my kd was almost a four it's like a 3.9 but you guys know i recently unlocked dark matter i almost have or not dark matter sorry damascus camo i almost have damascus on every single weapon in the game i have on almost all my dlc weapons guys my kd got absolutely obliterated Going for Damascus was no fun, man. I mean, I my KD got destroyed. So that's the reason it went down so much. Uh, thank God that's over. We got a 66 highest kill streak. Uh, a 1.18 win loss. You know, I'll be winning most of my games, which is good. Score per minute's a 200, which is pretty average, I'd say. Um, my stats are nothing crazy. They're not the worst in the world. They're not the best. They're there, though. That's all that matters. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, man. Um, if you guys have any comments, let me know. I'll try to answer some uh share this video around if you guys as friends need help this is the perfect video to show them um all of my settings are something i have messed with quite a bit and these are the absolute perfect settings i have um made yet so i hope you guys re enjoyed today's video i hope that you find success with them all that type of good stuff drop a like if you guys enjoyed subscribe if any of you guys are brand new i do upload every day we're on the road to 300 000 subscribers if you made it this far in the video comment down below best settings I'd like and heart as many of your guys' comments as possible. You guys stay safe. Have a great day. And I'm out. Peace. If you made it to the end of the video, chances are you really enjoyed the content here on the channel. I highly recommend heading over to Twitch and following your boy over there. I do live stream every single night. As you can see, we only got like 5.8 thousand followers, which isn't too bad, but I really would love to grow a decent sized community over there, just like we have over here on YouTube. So go over there. I live stream every night. 
follow me if you guys have twitch prime hit me with that sub you guys get a badge next game and emotes as well that you could use to interact within the chat so i hope to see you guys there and get to know some of you a little bit better